Massachusetts. Um, the song we're talking about today is called This Is Not An Image. It's from my last project called If My Sins Could Talk. Um, yeah. If she got some kick, then I'ma mix it. If she sing a song for me, my So I kind of thought of this song just because I don't know, probably the Instagram. Instagram inspired the song, I would say. I feel like nowadays people communicate with images. You kind of like lose yourself in the images too. I see a lot of people get, you know, infatuated with what things could be like, like their own imagination. You kind of lose a sense of reality. So the statement, this is not an image, came from that, um, that thought process. Um, I didn't make the song yet, but I knew I wanted to like make a song that touched on that uh, concept just cause of everything that was going on around me, just friends, people, like seeing how people uh, interact with images. Like niggas can't even articulate themselves anymore. They, you know, we use memes. So kind of wanted to touch on that. Never take advice. Made a life out being super condescending. Um, this song, well, the project, I kind of just made everything like in one month. So, I mean, I have records, but uh, I didn't. I didn't come into it like, yo, I'm about to drop a project. I knew I needed to drop something, but everything was made in a short period of time, including this song. So uh, it was kind of on the fly. It's hard to play the bench when all you know is how to ball. It's hard to play it humble when I know that I'm a star. I used to work at It's weird because I feel like it's a little bit of both. I feel like it's a little bit of both. But because of like, you know, the internet and stuff, we kind of like don't see artists as like real people. You know, they kind of just, you know, commodities, you know, that we just consume. We kind of like uh, don't realize like people go through real shit, like they have feelings, emotions. And it's kind of ironic because they're artists, but we kind of like don't see them in that lens. We just see them as people that, you know, when's the next song coming out? When's the next video? You know, but you know, they real people. And it's not people's fault. I mean, it's just the way shit is now. Um, everything's just numbers. Like, it's fucked up, but it is what it is, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, Latrell James. My guy Latrell, he's a very talented artist um, from Boston. Uh, definitely check out his music. Uh, Luke Bars, um, very talented. Um, he just dropped a project this year called Good Evil. Definitely check that out. Uh, Laura Felix, another great artist. Um, Meech. I got a whole bunch. I can't just name five. Giles. Um, who else? Who's underground, though? Uh, I wouldn't say he's underground, but like people, people are here. JPEG Mafia. I fuck with JPEG Mafia heavy. Um, who else would I say? I think that's it. If she got kick, then I'ma mix it. If she sing a song for me, my dick is gonna remix it. Remix it. Um, damn. I just feel like, uh, honestly, it's a weird question because I really don't see myself different from anybody else. Um, I just feel like what why i'm in the position i'm in i feel as if it's just because i know myself like i don't lie to myself i'm very honest like i know who i am i'm gonna try to fit into some you know i don't try to fit fit into somebody else's idea of me or what i think i should be like i'm very reality first person i don't like to live in a fantasy world so because i'm so 
I guess, honest with myself. Like, I know my boundaries and I know what I can do. Uh, and I don't limit myself because I know what I'm capable of. So. I make an honest living because the truth is all I know. The semi auto tool make a rowdy nigga cool. I mean, it's not everything really because not a lot of people get to experience that, like being a group with, with a bunch of like, like minded individuals who are super creative and you could just bounce ideas off people. So it's definitely an advantage and a, that I'm very grateful for because it's not a lot of artists get that. And you kind of see how other people go about, you know, their music and how they package shit and how they like think about, you know, how am I going to release this song? Am I going to do a video? What do I want to rap about? What do I want to like song structure, cover art, you know, being, you know, around that, you know, you just kind of pick up on the nuances of being a not only an artist, but like a good one, like a successful artist. So a lot of people you find like people that I've come across, like they're doing it by themselves. Granted, that is good. Like you should be self-sufficient, but it's, it's more, I feel like it's very helpful to see how other people like their process of creating their art um, because it just makes your shit. Being super condescending. My bitch love it when I'm super condescending. Every time I I'm available on all streaming platforms. Feel me? Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Amazon, YouTube, whatever it is, Deezer, I'm there. Type in St. Lior, S-A-I-N-T-L-Y-O-R. Um, tap in, um, yeah. And I just dropped a project, just dropped a project in March. Definitely want to come out with more music soon, but you know, tap into that first. Kick then I'ma mix it. If she sing a song for me, my dick is gon' remix it. Remix it. Eat it like it's church's chicken. Remix it. Cook a nigga like he a McChicken. Ooh, ooh. Great advice, I never take it.